And I get to see every day people's lives change through fitness. Uh, there was a lady that I know named Jennifer Marnell. She actually is one of our instructors. She had gotten up to 325 pounds. And then one day she was at Six Flags and with her child wanted to get on the, the mine train, the little, little roller coaster. And it, the safe bar wouldn't shut. And she just said, that's it. My life's about to be different. So she went on an amazing fitness program. And Jennifer became one of the most incredible transformations I've ever seen. I was in California a few months after where she had, she, Jennifer had become, I think it called the most changed member or most changed staff member at that time. But they did posters off her. She sent them all over the country. She went down to like 125 pounds. She just was super fit. And I was in California, and I walk into a club, and there's a picture of Jennifer Marnell there. I said, well, look at that. <laughs> and I was talking to her the other day, and she'll tell me. She said, Skip, it's still a struggle. She said, you know, it's like I've got a devil on this shoulder, an angel on this shoulder. You ought to eat this. No, no, you ought to eat this over here. She said, it's hard. But fitness can change your life, and it'll change your players' lives. And there was a guy I read about named Bill Irwin. Some of you may have heard of him. Oh, I got all sorts of fitness stories. Bill Irwin, he was an alcoholic, recovering alcoholic, smoked five packs of cigarettes a day, but he decided he was going to hike the Appalachian Trail. Well, you know that that's from Springer Mountain, Georgia, up to Maine. He got in shape. And he did it, but he fell 500 times through icy waters and rugged terrain. But did I mention to you that Bill Irwin was blind? Hmm. Yeah, that's fitness. Harold could not have made it through that match without being super fit, but he did 